Welcome back to Market Day Report. I'm Chris Swift. We've had the markets open for about 45 minutes now. Let's see if they're still cooking pretty hot. We've got the uh, corn market that we'll take a glimpse at this morning, and it is. It continues to roll higher with September up 16 at 515 and a quarter. December now 520 and three quarters, up 14 and three quarters. March up 13 and three quarters at 531 even. Over our soybean trade, are they adding a little premium? A little bit. Uh, August up 11 and a half now, 14.95 and a half. September beans up 13 and three quarters, 14.21 even. And Novi beans working on that $14 handle, 13.94 and a quarter, up 16 and a quarter, with 97 the high tick. Take a look at our Chicago wheat this morning. Chicago putting on a little extra premium, up 16 on the September, 669 and three quarters. December wheat up 15 and a half, 689 and a quarter. March wheat up 15 and three quarters, 704 and three quarters. Kansas City hard red, where the heat is really building up there, up 15 and three quarters on September, 831 even. December up 15 and a quarter, 835 and a quarter. And going out into the next year, the March contract up 13 and three quarters at 831 even. Wrap it up with spring wheat this morning. Uh, not near as well. Down a half on the September, 877 and three quarters. December down one and a half and March down a penny. I'd like to welcome my guest Ben Hushin in this morning. Ben, we've got a really active market going on and a lot of volatility from uh, one day to the next. So fill us in a little bit about what you see this morning. Good morning. Uh, here in the Northeast, we it's been a couple weeks since I've been on, and it's been uh, we've had two to six inches of rain over the area. So corn, I tell you what, it's almost like a greenhouse. Things are growing night and day. We're having uh, 68 to 74 degree nights. So corn is putting on that four or five inches a day. Pretty much moved in. Uh, some of it's moved into full tassel. Did some checking around here this week. Uh, lots of concern for those listeners who and viewers who remember back in May and June, especially June, we were concerned about that V4, V6 corn not having enough rain. We're seeing, uh, doing some checks now on some young ears of corn. We're seeing 16 rows on that cob. It's not the 20 we dream of. Uh, that we occasionally get to. So it's shy of the 18, which is kind of typical. So as we thought, we probably knocked on this early corn, probably lost about 20 bushel off of it, but could have been a whole lot worse. So uh, very thankful for the weather we've had here for so far in the month of July as far as growing corn and soybeans. And I know y'all have had quite a bit of weather uh, up in that area. So has the smog or the, the smoke from the wildfires, has that hampered anything in, in your region? I see the coverage of it. And, you know, what we're looking at is uh, does that hamper anything or impact the yields in any way? You know, that's a great question. I mean, historically, we've been told corn grows by heat, beans grow with sunlight. So that question actually began to come from some farmers yesterday is the smoke going to be like cloudy days? Uh, you know, we we would need some bright sunshine to make all the photosynthesis work like the plant's designed for, for maximum yield. Honestly, I think there's some unanswered questions because we're in unprecedented ground. I can't remember in my lifetime where we've had uh, this kind of repeated smoke coming in from from anywhere, honestly let alone Canada. So not sure I can answer that with any real confidence. Well, but that's, that's still, I appreciate you touching on that because I know that's very important to uh, the area up in there. We don't really think about the uh, Northeast as a big grain area, but we do know that uh, New York State, Pennsylvania, all huge uh, areas in the uh, in the corn, corn growing area and soybeans too. So Ben, we're going to take a little break here. We're going to come back and talk a little bit of livestock with Ben Hushin. You stay with us.